I am Anil Kumar. In this video, we will discuss how to use first principle to find derivative of logarithmic functions. So, we will begin with natural log, which is log to the base e, and show that derivative of ln x is 1 over x, where x is greater than 0. Well, in the second part of this video, we will show how to find derivative of log to the base a in general, and that will be 1 over x times ln a, right? Now, you know how change of base formula works. If I have log to the base, uh, let's say any base a of x, I could change the base to any other base, let's say b, then the formula is change of base is kind of like this. Is that okay? Now, in our case, what we are doing here is that we are changing base to e. So, we could write this as log to the base e of x over log to the base e of a and log to the base e is ln right so we have ln x over ln a so you find that the second part which is in general log to the base a of x derivative will be 1 over x which is same as that of ln x times ln a which comes from this uh, formula ln a I'm sorry <coughs> ln a right so the second part you could do yourself okay let's begin when we say first principle then really we are using the definition that is what we say derivative of the function any function in general is equal to limit h approaches 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x over h, right? So that's the rate of change. Now, in our case, the function is given to us as ln x. So we can say the derivative of ln x is equals to limit h approaches 0. x plus h means ln x plus h minus ln x over h, right? Now, applying the properties of logarithms, if we have difference, then I could write this as equals to limit h approaches 0. We could write this as ln x plus h over x, correct? Over h. So, so that difference of logarithms could be written like quotient, right? So, we get limit h approaches 0 and uh, we have ln x over x is 1 so 1 plus h over x over h now we learned in limits a formula which was kind of like this let me give, a, give you a reminder of the formula we'll use that formula now here we know that the limit for x approaching 0 for ln 1 plus x over x is actually equal to 1, right? So that is, I'll provide you a link with this. Now we are going to use this particular limit property for logarithmic functions here. Now as you can see here, the only difference is we have h over x and we have h here. So we could rewrite this and say limit 1 plus h over x. Now, <clears throat> if I divide both numerator and denominator by x, then what happens? So what I'm doing here is I'm multiplying h by x over x. So by doing so, we get limit h approaches 0, ln 1 plus h over x. And here, I can rearrange and write this as x times h over x. Do you see that? Now, if you look at this part, we could write this as, as 1 over x. x is independent of h. Limit h approaches 0 for ln, ln 1 plus h over x over x. Now, using this limit formula, we know it is equal to this part is 1. So, we get 1 over x, correct? So that is how you could prove that the derivative of ln x is 1 over x. And of course, this function is only defined when x is 
greater than zero, right? So that's how we do the first part. And now let's do the same operation, but for log in general to any base A, right? So let's do that part now. You can actually pause the video, uh, solve yourself, and then check with my solution. So we'll do with first principle, we want to find derivative of log to the base A of X. Now we could write this as limit H approaches zero f of x plus h so the formula as you know is the rate of change formula so we can write f dash x is equals to limit h approaches zero for f of x plus h minus f of x over h so we are using this formula whenever we say first principle that is the way right the function is log to the base a of x so it is log to the base a of x plus h minus log to the base a of x over h. Okay. Now this could be written as limit h approaches 0. Again same thing. So we have log to the base a of x plus h divided by x over h. Now that gives you limit h approaches 0 log to the base a of 1 plus h over x over h and we'll divide this and rather you can say multiply by x over x correct that gives us limit h approaches 0 of uh, log of to the base a 1 plus h over x over h over x and we can bring this 1 over x outside we limited it here at present. Now, as you know, the change of base formula, which we are talking about, log to the base A of, let us say anything, uh, <clears throat> uh, in this case, it is 1 plus H over X, could be written as ln 1 plus H over X over ln A, right? So we are going to use the change of base formula, right? This is change of base formula. So using this formula, I could rewrite this as limit h approaches zero. We have one over x. Let me write here, it doesn't matter. And log of a, I'm writing this as ln one plus h over x over, we have h over x times so denominator we get ln a right times ln a okay so we have just changed the base so that now we can apply this property which is so ln a is a constant 1 over x is a constant so we have 1 over x times ln a and we have limit h approaches 0 for ln 1 plus h over x over h over x and we know this limit is 1 and therefore what we get here is 1 over x ln a. Okay? So that is how we can find the derivative or logarithmic function using first principle. So the concept here is to use uh, first principle means that formula and apply the logarithmic rules and also the limit which is, which is this limit, right? We will take up this example again how to show that the limit of this function is 1, right? So I'll provide you a link for that also as a part of the solution of this particular uh, example. I hope the process is clear. Feel free to share your comments and views. If you like and subscribe, that'd be great. Thank you and all the best.